I flew my flag upside down today. I wanted to honor the memory of those of you that fell, that laid down everything, standing for liberty, honoring your oath, and loving your neighbor as yourself. Because we don't have the America that you died for anymore. That United States doesn't exist. We're not united. We don't have liberty affirmed by our Constitution any longer. It's still there, but the judges and the terrorist judges and politicians, they completely ignore it. And so as they're out doing pageantry today and making speeches, and as America's out waving their flags and pretending they're still free, having their rock concerts and their barbecues, the truth is, we're slaves. The liberty that you laid down your life for and that you spilled your blood into the ground for has been destroyed and trampled by our government and its officials. Our government officials and police, they kill more of us on street corners now than we lose in wars. Those wars that we start usually unconstitutionally all over the world, not to defend our life, our liberty, and our property most of the time, but just for power and position and politics. Those of you that laid down everything for liberty, I just want to say for America today that I'm sorry because we failed to preserve it. We failed to uphold it. And so that flags upside down because it should be, because we are in distress. And as I drove down the road yesterday with my family and I, I looked at the lanes and the highways and byways and I saw all the pretty flags lining the road, I thought, well, those should be upside down if we really want to honor and make memorial to those who perished for liberty. I didn't want it to be a fraud, I want it to be a real memorial. Not about faction, but about action and principle. From those of you who fell on the grass at Lexington, to those lying in Flanders Field, to Lavoie Finicum, that they murdered our own government who claims to be for liberty and waves that flag, they murdered him on the side of the highway. And now when, when other patriots go and they put up memorials to him, the police are actually going down there and tearing down their memorial crosses. That's what we've come to in this nation. But I just want you to know that it wasn't in vain. All of you, right up to you, Lavoy, it wasn't in vain because when we love our neighbor and when we lay down our life for our friends, it has an effect. The voice is not silenced. It keeps going on. And so those of you that fall standing for liberty, that honor your oaths, regardless of whether you're in the official branches of the military, but that stand up and defend liberty. See, we've made a fraud out of that too. By the standard of today and by the hate and rhetoric I'll get for flying this flag upside down and saying these words today, by their standard, those of you that died at Lexington wouldn't be veterans either, wouldn't deserve honor because you weren't in one of our modern official branches of the military. See, I don't honor the faction, but the action, and that's what I wanna do for you today. I want you to know that it wasn't in vain because a few of us are out here standing up and we're praying and we're appealing to heaven and we're putting ourselves out there and many of them like the Bundys, many of us that are out here still living and standing up, they're abusing and they're persecuting and they're stealing from us, they're locking us in jail and, and yes, they're killing us too. But it's not in vain because our blood is seed. And the more people that wake up, the more people that stand up, it's my belief that, that God will give us liberty for the remnant. And so next time you see him, maybe you can put a good word in for us. But I just want to thank those of you who honored your oath and who loved your neighbor as yourself and laid down your life for your friends, no matter, no matter where you're from or what faction you were part of. I just want to have a memorial today that's real and say that there are people out here, there's people that are standing, there's people that understand liberty, and we're trying to wake up the others. We're trying to tell them that fake pageantry and memorials isn't honoring liberty and those who spilled their blood for it. So we're gonna keep out here fighting. We're gonna keep the message going, and thank you.